What is up, Planeswalkers Theory 6, back with some more Match at the Gathering Arena. Be sure to head over to FlipsideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and helps support the channel. Now today, we're playing a bit of a casual deck. <laughs> and I don't remember which person exactly sent me this list because I couldn't find it on Discord. Because I just couldn't figure out how to search for their name. Because I'm dumb. Uh, but I think it was King Piloswine. Uh, he has been... I'm pretty sure it was him. If not, I'm sure they'll let me know. Uh, they've been trying to get me to play a Boros Dinosaur list for a bit, for a little while now. And uh, I figure, since we're coming really close to the next expansion, and I've really kind of tapped out much, not all, but much of the interesting decks, uh, wasn't entirely sure what to play for you guys. <laughs> I figured you probably didn't want to see the thousandth zombie video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this today, and in the comment section, I'm going to pin a comment, not, it's not going to be the matches, I'm still going to put those in the comments, uh, but it's not going to be pinned today, or, yeah, today for you guys, uh, where it's going to be essentially what I'm going to be doing uh, up until the uh, the release of Return or Ravnica Allegiance. So the options are, of course, going to be Momir, Traditional Draft, Guild of Ravnica, Ranked Draft, Rivals of Ixalan, then it is going to be uh, essentially just a thread for, like, specific throwback, and then I want you guys to post a reply to that comment where you essentially say this is the deck i want to see again you know storm was really popular uh demir uh surveil was really popular if you have a deck that i've played that you want to see uh again if you want to see a different take on it post a comment attached to that pinned comment and let me know and if you want to see something that someone's already posted instead of reposting that go ahead and thumbs up their specific post that way it's a little bit more easier for me to, to digest and uh post the, put those videos out a little bit easier so Without further ado, this is just a red-white dinosaur deck. Essentially, it's uh, kind of an aggressive strategy, whereas the red-green version is a little bit more mid-rangey. Uh, you have a lot of really interesting burst potential because you are utilizing Otepic Huntmaster a lot more uh, than the red-green version typically does, because the red-green version often has the uh, the green fatties, right? Um, so essentially, the point of this deck is to play a few Kinjali's Callers and Otepic Huntmasters and get out uh, some big beefy boys and give them haste and get a lot of value. Territorial Hammer Skull is a fantastic uh, card for this reason because it can force your opponent to block either poorly or have no blockers at all. Uh, if you're going against an opponent who has one or two creatures out and you are able to control which creature has to block, you can get around some really interesting scenarios. So if you're going against, let's say, a zombie deck, you can force them to tap down their zombie with death touch and have them either take a ton of damage or block with their uh, zombie lord. Uh, Kinjali Sunwing is another very similar card to uh, Territory and Hammer Skull in that it forces your opponent's creatures to come in tapped, meaning that they're, they have fewer creatures that you have to tap down with Territory and Hammer Skull, and it means you're going to get through for more damage, which is always nice. Of course, we have a 2-mana 3-3 three, three Vigilance. It does have to attack and block each combat, with, which sometimes gets bad once you get to the later stages of the game, but usually uh, we plan on having them dead in the later stages of the game, so it doesn't matter that much. If you're going, if you're able to uh, get this out on turn two, it's a nice attacker on turn three. It's very fantastic for that exact reason. We do have a little bit of removal in the deck. We have three lightning strikes, and I did decide to keep the uh, the Ixlons one just because it's a little bit more uh, flavorful. It matches a little bit better. Um, but this is some decent-ish removal, uh, you know, in the early mid game, and you can throw it at your opponent's face to make sure they die. Ixlons binding. Sometimes things uh, things occur, and we want those things to not occur. <laughs> Sometimes we have to get rid of Planeswalkers, because even though we're playing this in play mode, there are still plenty of uh, quote-unquote good decks uh, roaming around in there. So, uh, Three Charting Monster Stores. This has haste by itself. If you curve Kinjali's Collar into Otepic Huntmaster, you can attack for six on turn three. Because, you know, on you know turn one, you have one land, and then uh, uh, cost reduction with Kinjali. And then on turn two, you have two lands, and uh, cost reduction on Huntmaster, that's four. And then on your third turn, you have a, another land. Bada bing, bada boom, you're attacking with Charging Monster Store and Otepic Huntmaster for six on turn three. That seems real spicy to me. One turn later, you throw a Burning Sun's Avatar. You kill a thing, and you burn them in the face. You give it haste, you attack in. It's fantastic. Additionally, uh, same turn, if you have that dank curve on turn four, Atali, attack in, get some value off the top, or you just get lands off the top every time because this game hates me, and I, I swear in like all of my practice games, Atali got nothing but lands. <laughs> But who cares? Uh, you also have access to a single Zotopple. This was at 2, uh, but we are only running 24 lands because it is more or less an, uh, a relatively aggressive strategy. The only reason we can kind of justify running these, and even, even Itali, is because we do have mana cost redu uh, reductors. But 
getting to eight, even with those reductors, is still kind of hard because of how weak these reductors are. Uh, this deck does kind of just, like, die uh, really hard to control if you're not able to burn the crap out of them. Uh, but hopefully we don't face too many control decks in uh, play mode. Uh, if you get a really nice bursty hand, you can, you know, wipe out control relatively easily. But it is definitely something that you need to watch out for. Uh, and this is definitely more of a uh, just kind of fun deck. Uh, I have a bunch of things to do today, so I was not able to put in as much time uh, as I'm usually as I usually do. This hand's not good. We do have removal on two and hammer skull on three, so I guess I will keep it. But I don't love it. Black white possibly. Possibly Vamps could also be Esper. I've seen a lot of Esper control decks running for sake of sanc Sanctuary. No, looks like it's Vampires. So we could Otepic this turn. Next turn I would have access to like four total so I could Hammer Skull and Lightning Strike. So I think I like that line a little bit better. Yeah, so next turn I'll be able to play this, kill this, attack with this, and tap this down. Do a little bit of extra damage to them. It looks like they're stalled on land, which is nice. Ooh. I like Kanjali's Sunwing as well. I think I'm actually just gonna... Oh, right. I forgot this doesn't add mana. <laughs> Whoops. I can do basic math, it's fine. Um, I think here I'm going to Kanjali's. And I will give it haste. Plan is to just kill my opponents. So this is on five. Oh, thank you. Radiant Destiny. Alright, Dece. Definitely Dece. Ow. Go ahead and play this. Dinosaur. Done. I'm not too worried about... Well, I guess I could hold up Lightning Strike for a Lord. Yeah, I think that's actually fine. It does slow, slow me down a little bit. But next turn, I can Burning Sun's Avatar. Sure. So if they do play a Lord, uh, I can just kill it in response. Next turn, I can Burning Sun's Avatar kill like this. Hey, look! It's a thing. I'd like you to die. Thank you very much. They're on six, so they're a little, little away from uh, Ascension. Then I will play another territory named Dinosaur. Play out the Avatar. And I think that I just kill this. And then give this haste, and my opponent is dead. And that's Magical Christmas Land. <laughs> we were probably pretty lucky that our opponent did uh, skip exactly one turn of creatures. Uh, or of land drops, sorry. But we probably would have been able to capitalize. Either way, because we, we did have the Burning Sun's Avatar. And the difference of playing playing something like Burning Sun's Avatar on 5 versus 6 and being able to immediately attack with it is so incredibly strong, right? Like, that card is quote-unquote balanced around being cast on 6 and then waiting until 7 to attack. But now, we can cast it for less and attack with it faster. This is an okay hand. I do wish we were going first. But it's okay. Uh-oh. It's control! Run away! Maybe it's not control. I did, in practice, I faced off... Uh, no, it's, it's control. Uh, I did face off against a white-blue deck... That was using Militia Bugler and Mirror Image. I thought it was very interesting. Because I do expect that deck to 
to be somebody. Because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of interesting Azorius cards that get caught by Militia Bugler. Um, I guess we're just going to cast this and be sad because our opponent is playing just guy control. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And then he countered me. Whoa. Incredibly rude. I go home at night. I shut the door real tight. People call me on the phone. I'm trying to avoid. Uh, I guess I'll attack. <laughs> Problem here, of course, is uh, board wipe. <laughs> Um, like, Death and Clarion just, like, murders us, but if I play Kanjali, like, Kanjali has no power, so I don't really care if she dies. Sure. Uh, this way, if they do end up casting Clarion, then it's a little bit easier for me to resolve an Atali, and if they don't cast Clarion, it's still probably slightly easier for me to cast Atali. Because then something like Syncopate doesn't, you know, do the job, as it were. But it looks like they're casting something now. They should definitely kill Otepic over Kanjali's. But no, it looks like they're deciding to wait. I have a Burning Sun's Avatar. But Atali is just, like, actually better. Because <sighs> if I can get, like, a Teferi or something off, then it's really good. The problem is, I assume my opponent... Like, Atali is definitely better to resolve. I don't know. I'm just hoping you don't have another counterspell. Yes! Sweet. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to be able to attack with Atali. And hopefully we'll get something good from them. Uh, like, Teferi would be awesome. Not a Teferi, but, you know, not sure, I guess. Definitely don't want that. <laughs> oh, well. We're down to 12. <laughs> Always decent. But let's see if our opponent... Oh, they need another white in order to cast... Uh, the the board wipe land. Alright, Teferi, I see you. Can this hit Planeswalkers? Yes, it can! Ha ha ha, you fool. You only... You only delay your fate. You, you simply delay the inevitable. So I'll go ahead and... Honestly, I don't care about my life total. I'm just going to do that. Oh, wait. They only have one. Everything's fine. Uh, so I'm going to target you. Tap up to... Target up to one creature. Sub it. Thank no you very much. Uh, and I'm going to... Give that the hasties. And I'm going to go and dome you. And I'm actually not going to play territor Territorial Hammerhead. Hammer Skull. Uh, I'm just going to land charge my opponent. And I'm going to try to kill them with a lightning strike. Because we dinosaurs, boys. I will say, I assume they, they have the cleansing nova. But they just don't have the mana for it. Don't you dare. Oh, they might have... Darn, they might have got drunk. That's it. They have one mana. Uh, they're dead. Lightning strike murders the crap out of them. Au revoir. So long. Farewell. Alv eaters and goodbye. More dinosaurs! We will fight for our right to devour our enemies. <laughs> Mims? Are you back? Is this why you're hot? Uh, well, we're going first. Kind of a bad hand, because we don't have a third land or a person. But it's not awful to get one. Like, we have... Like, a land or one of the things is good. So that's a large percentage. Well, that's incredibly awkward. It's fine. Well, it looks like it's potentially control. Could be the mono blue deck.
Double Island makes me think it is mono blue. Alright, well that dies. Can I draw something, please? Thank you! Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and Sunwing first. Guarantees the tap. Oh, you know what? I, th I actually think that was incorrect. I think I should have started with Territorial. Because... Because, yeah, next turn I won't be able to tap this... Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that was technically incorrect. This is probably going to get countered. I could get syncopated. Does the, the modern blue deck doesn't play syncopate though. They just play the wizard's thing. So this is almost certainly going to get countered by a wizard retort. Oh, no, all right. Don't forget to play the land. Merfolk Trister, incredibly rude. They just tap though. Get that mess out of here. It's a battle for supremacy. Mono blue or Borosaurus. Nightbell Sprite, you fool. Prepare to get dabbledged. Uh, sure, let's play this. Let us attack. Go ahead and tap this down. And let's play another one. Keep tapping them down and keep trying to murder them. All right, they put this on the bottom. Oh, I can block. That's a shady attack, but the only thing I know from the mono blue deck that pumps is the thing that gives hexproof, and that doesn't pump power. Obviously our opponent might be playing different pieces, but no, they just... I think that was just an accidental thing. Sure, chart some courses, see if I care. I could just, like, binding this, but I think the correct answer is just continue jamming their face. I could keep Kinjali Sunwing back. Uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6. Push them down to 10. 2, 4, 6, 8. Wouldn't kill them. So I could just keep back Sunwing to block. But at the same time, nah. SM work. Me go face. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, especially since if I draw Burning Sun's Avatar, then that is lethal. Uh, Burning Sun's Avatar is lethal. Charging Monstrosaur isn't necessarily lethal. I guess both of them have to resolve for them to, like, do anything. But, I mean, unless my opponent deals with Kanjali Sunwing, anything they play to block is going to come in tapped. Just, just all the Charter Courses. I guess they only have three of them. So, yeah, that comes in tapped. So, very simply... Well, this is not what I wanted. Um, so I can get rid of Siren Storm Tamer because Ixalan Binding, tr I'll try it on the Jin, and then they probably just sack Storm Tamer. Dupe, and then they sack Storm Tamer. Oh, they decided to dive down. Makes sense. Um, so here. I think I do keep up Sunwing. And then just attack with these. 2, 4, 6? Yeah. Um, sure. Target these. New new meta. Red, white dinosaurs. <laughs> Best in show. Right, my point is at 4. I only need to connect with two of my two threes. All 
I essentially never blocked the Tempest Gin, because blue does not really have a way to gain double strike. And I have three things that can force my point. That comes untapped. You have three creatures. I can tap all three of them down. Unless my opponent is running some really interesting tech, I should be fine. You go away, you go away, and do you go away. Merfolk Trickster would still enter tapped, I believe. Yeah, so even if they... So they could have theoretically sacked Siren Storm Tamer to keep one of these up to block, but... I do not think it would have saved them. Good old aggro decks. Being very, very easy to play several games in a single video. Always nice. Leon Killer. Okay, then. Uh, well, we can Raptor on two and hope we get a third land. So I'll keep it. Swamp. Zombies, hello. And we got a third land, which is always nice. So I'll, pro I'll probably play Hammer Skull this turn. Especially since that already comes in tap. <laughs> got attack. Unfortunately, if my opponent does go land into Lord. I can only tap one of these down. But I'd only be able to tap one of them down anyway. If I draw a land, then I can Binding the Lord, which is always nice. Especially against Mono Black. Could be a Black Green deck, but I'm not entirely sure. She really needs to pull herself together. <laughs> Incredibly rude, sir. Killed my... Killed my mans. Alright, one more land. I can play Charging. Two more lands. And I can play a Tully. Not shabby. Opponent already down to five cards in hand. Make that four. Good good choice of land art. My only problem with it... There are people in the background. <laughs> I really dislike... Uh, it's not, you know, it's whatever. But I, I really dislike art... Land art specifically with, like, entities in them. <laughs> and that's, like, very strange, but... Eh. Yeah, you should have you should have probably kept that, uh, that murder, my friend. I wish you had kept up your murder, my friend. You would save five, but you're about to die. This is now the end. I don't know. I tried. Hey, we did it. <laughs> the effectiveness is real. All right, that's it. Uh, I do have things to do so that I'm not a, uh, a scrub lord supreme. So I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Salamander and Zoraga, for their continued support. If you'd like to join them, uh, and supporting the channel, you'll find links to that down in the description, along with links to my Discord server, uh, as well as my Aether Hub account, where I have all of my decks hosted, which I will be totally working on tonight. Um, well, which I guess is yesterday night for... Anyway, uh, as I said, be sure to check out the pinned comment and let me know what you guys want to see uh, in the following weeks, um, because we're at, like, the weird end of a, a format transition, and those are always really annoying to make things for. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go and tap that like button, add a subscription to your mana pool, and cast a comment to the comment section down below. And until next time, all will be one.